Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 8th through the 14th. And I'll take a look, look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see Aquarius. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Pentacles. So taking it easy, taking it slow, at least that's the energy available. I'm not sure if you are, but we'll see as we go along. But that's kind of like how the energy is um, flowing right now for you. In the recent past, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Judgment card. Um, hmm. This is interesting because this is one of those painful, hard conversations here you may have had with someone. It's part of your transformation, though. It's kind of one of those that you have to have. You have to put it out there. So I'm not sure what happened here. It's definitely an energy that's coming from you, and it feels like it's coming from a place of pain in terms of releasing that pain through that. Um, okay. Yeah, that would be translated into potentially a hard conversation here. Um, in the current situation, the Emperor, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, you're kind of stepping up here. You're kind of stepping up your game. You're leaving something behind as you do that. Um, you're just kind of picking yourself up and going. And it feels good. It, it feels empowering. Yeah. It feels empowering. It feels like, okay, I'm doing this. You know? Blue? What, what, what's happening? What, who upset you? In the immediate future, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. You're working on something here, something that looks good, feels good. There seems to be a little bit of stumbleness along the way, though, but it's, it doesn't look like a big deal, but it's there. But anyways, let's, um, let's clarify. Let me do the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Temperance card, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands. You're building yourself up here through this energy of slowly. Uh, building yourself up to potentially... No, I feel like the conversation actually took place. Maybe you're, um, you have built yourself up to, to get to that point of, okay, I got to say this, or I got to do this, or I got I to gotta put this energy out. And now it's kind of like what's happening after. It's the consequences of that. And that's where you're at with it. And you look a little stressed. You look a little, mm, hope it went well, you know. Um, okay. Let's do the Three of Swords in the recent past. The Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Chariot. Very meaningful, though. Very meaningful to you, personally. You know, putting it out there. Letting it all out and being like, oh. Because uh, it is coming from a place of pain in the sense of, um, how do you put this? I feel like you've been healing through that pain. And whatever this is that you're putting out is kind of like the, the cherry on top of, of that healing. You know, that like, you know, the, the period at the end of the sentence there. The, okay, this is it, you know? Hmm. Interesting. And very important to your growth uh, also, especially over whatever painful kind of an energy that is that you've probably healed. For the Eight of Wands, you get the Five of Swords, the World card, the Queen of Swords. I'm not sure how this was taken. Uh, I don't think that was your end goal, though. You know, I don't think you said or did something here to get something out of the other side. I think you did it for yourself. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's looking like it's being received in not the greatest way, but it is looking deceptive at the same time. So it's almost like you coming in and telling me something that you want to get off your chest and it's 
it's very important to you and it's big and it could be painful so you even to me but you're you you have to do it and then you go ahead and let it all out and I'm I would react something like oh yeah well you know okay but whatever <laughs> and then I go something like that it's like that's not the honest response there but that could be the response that you've gotten from this which again I don't feel like you've gotten like you went in there with any sort of expectation you know like I, I don't think you were oh I hope they take it well that was probably the last thing on your mind you know that was for you whatever you did in there the response that came from it I don't know what that's about but okay let's do the judgment card the eight of pentacles the devil the justice card yeah it's it's it almost feels like something doesn't feel right to you and you need to put it out there you need to address it in order to potentially fix it or work on it or heal it um But again, I, I don't see a lot of cooperation on the other side, you know? This is a two-way street, and it's a street that the both of you broke, you know? Because uh, that's kind of how you're coming at it. The other person might take it personally. They might be like, oh, yeah, you think I did? Mm -hmm. Me? I bro you broke it. I didn't break anything here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on you. Not realizing that it takes two to tango here, you know, it takes two to break a street, apparently. Uh, but, <clears throat> okay. Anyways, let's do the Emperor. The Four of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're kind of like, you know, if I have no one to work here with on the street, that means the street is, it's, it's a done deal then. You know, street closed. We're done. So I might as well start stepping away from this and find me another street someplace else. Because that is true. You know, if you find yourself in a situation with another energy and the other energy is uncooperative here and doesn't want to work on things, what are you going to do? Work on it on your own? No. It's a two energy kind of a deal. Two energy package. It doesn't work like that. So, even if you're upset or disappointed here, your energy is definitely pulling back. Uh, let's do the Seven of Swords. The Fool, the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles. You still, you still have a lot of openness towards this, you know, in case they change their mind and kind of tap you on your shoulder and, hey, please don't go, let's work on this. You might consider it, but until that happens, you keep on going in the opposite direction here. Um, you definitely started your pulling back here from this. And even though it doesn't necessarily feel good as you're doing it, there is still a sense of feeling good about it. Because it's like, I've done all I can, you know? Uh, I can't go at this all by myself here. So there's a, there's a, there's a blend of, definitely mixed emotions here in terms of on one hand you're upset about it you know disappointed super open in case the other energy comes back around but at the same time until they do you keep on doing your thing you know so in one way it feels good and the other not so much but um the thing is ultimately it kind of feels like it remains an unsolved kind of an energy you know like one of those up in the air unfinished business kinds of deals you're you're looking like you want to release it to the universe like you know whatever happens happens but you're not there yet in terms of truly accepting that so okay let me do the seven of pentacles in the immediate future the knight of wands the five of wands the star I mean, I do see a, um, like a little bit of a, a jump here. Um, I don't know who it is, if it's you, if it's them, but somebody's kind of like poking at this, back at this, being like, hey, we forgot to do this or whatever the case. It does create conflict though. So it's not, it's not, it, it's looking like whoever this is and you are not on the same page here, you know? 
So I'm not sure who's jumping back in here, but whoever it is, they're looking a little passionate about things. So they might stir things up instead of just kind of working on things. Um, the intention is to work on this, but the way it comes through is very, very passionate, very jumpy, almost. Poking more than anything. Um, Let's do the two of pentacles in the immediate future, the seven of wands, the ace of pentacles, the page of pentacles. And again, it leaves the situation unresolved. It's kind of like, where where are we with this? I don't know. You know, and you don't know and they don't know. Nobody knows here. Um, you're very... Um, like you're sticking to your guns here. You're not, you're not, as long as this energy is going to remain unsolved, un, un nothing, up in the air and things like that, you're like, I don't want to deal with it. You know, I don't want to stay in this for what? Like, I'm, I'm going to keep on doing my thing. I'm going to keep on moving forward until this energy gets into a very steady place or we land on the same page. Because for now, we're not. And until we are, I'm going to keep on doing my thing. Okay, so it doesn't... It's not that it doesn't phase you. It doesn't stop you in your track, which is good. Um, let's do the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords. It's hard. It's... it's it's going to take some healing. It's going to take some downtime for you to, to kind of go through everything that just happened here and just kind of heal all of that. And I see you taking it because no matter, even if you're sticking to your guns there and just keep, keep, you keep on moving forward, there's still a res residual energy of, um, yeah, that, that whole sense of up in the air, unresolved. Right, so it's it's still kind of bugging you. It's still there with you, but I do see you stopping for a minute and dealing with that, because um, it's gonna take some time, some healing over whatever this is, and it's still at the end of the day, it's still gonna remain unresolved. So it's a matter of what do you do with it then, you know, when you're kind of at the other end of it all. Um, but that's for a different reading apparently but anyways let's see what the universe has to close it off the tower the four of pentacles the eight of pentacles um uh, not not great somebody just wants to uh, one of you and i suspect it's them is just the one that keeps on throwing stuff in the way you know um i'm not even sure if they're doing it intentionally right now or because the intention on both sides on your side and on their side is for things to work out here so i'm not sure why one of the two energies is showing up as just kind of throwing all sorts of things in the way for it to not work out or for it to just stay in a very <laughs> undetermined place here but um you 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 got no one to work with here for now you know things can change but for now it's looking like whoever this is doesn't want to cooperate at all um and i'm not understanding necessarily why but but anyways um that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye